hello welcome to our first lesson on partial differentiation okay so um in this lesson we just go through the introduction section of partial differentiation okay so if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe to the channel to support the channel as well okay all right let's start given a function of more than one variable so one thing that you have to know is that partial differentiation is like basically about the dif how to differentiate a function that is of more than one variable okay say f of x y so this one depends on um x and y okay then the derivative of f of x okay that is the function with respect to x only is a partial derivative of f keeping y as a constant likewise um likewise y okay so what this means is that when you have f of x as a function given then um if you want to find the differential of f of x with respect to x only then what you have to do is just that at that time you have to keep y as constant and differentiate every time with respect to x okay so let's look at um, how it looks like now partial derivative of f of x with respect to x is given by now it is in some books this is how we write it d d x of f of x y some of them write it del f del x others to write it f subscript x of f of x y or some of them will even write it like this f x like this okay so that you know that it's just the partial derivative of f with respect to x and some of them write it in the limit form that the limit as each approaches zero of the numerator to be f of x plus h comma y then minus that all over h simply if you could see here only x was being affected by the h that the increment okay so that is how we go you go about it now let's take an example and you know see how it works find del f del x and del f del y given that f of x equals that so first of all we are supposed to find del f del x and we said that this means that the partial derivative of the whole of f of x y with respect to only x and at that time you keep every every variable that is available or that is present there you keep it as a constant okay so what you can do is that you just differentiate the first term you apply the rules that you know in differentiation okay so you differentiate this term which is the x squared with respect to x and you get her 2x and plus you differentiate the whole of this term with respect to x now you can see there is some you know product of x y here but here we are saying that you are keeping every variable that is not x as constant so we see y as also a constant like three okay so we just differentiate x that is present there and that will be one so we can differentiate only this x you get one so one times the constants that are present the constants are three y okay so you have three y times one here the reason is we are keeping every this is not implicit differentiation mind you this is not implicit differentiation this is just partial differentiation and in this like i said we keep every constant which is not what we are interested in to be a constant sorry every variable to be a constant okay apart from the one that we are interested in so now i go to the next term which is this one y there's no x in it so when i differentiate i'll get zero when i differentiate negative one basically we know that one to be zero so all that we'll be left with will be just this okay so del f del x is now giving us what 2x plus 3y i hope you understand this now you go to del f del y which is what we also need and that one to what we have to do is we come to the first term which is x squared you differentiate with respect to y keeping every 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 variable this time you keep every every, every variable to be what constant variables that are present here are just x and y so in terms of y you keep x to be constant okay so if this is constant then the differential of x squared will be what zero okay then plus now i come to this x is constant three is constant so i have to just differentiate y and i'll get one so i'll get one times 3x okay and plus i come to this term i differentiate y with respect to y and i'll get one 
I'll come to negative one and that, that one to give me what um zero okay so basically this one to give me zero so basically this is what you have for the f the y you have this going and that going and that will be my del f del y okay so with respect to that is the partial derivative of f with respect to x is given by this and that of y is also given by this i hope this is very very simple okay so all right so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel in our next discussion we'll go through deeper examples than this okay all right thank you